For those who want to learn to read tarot or expand the scope or depth of their tarot readings, the information in the Symbols of Tarot Dictionary that I'm referencing in this video is included in The Fool, the Empress, and the Magician, Laughing Woman's Complete Tarot Reading Course. It's available in uh, ebook form for $3.99. That's $3.99. And if you want to purchase that or the, or the uh, Radiant Wisdom Tarot set, just go to RadiantWisdomTarot.com. Now let's get on with looking at these cards uh, interpreted from the Symbols of Tarot Dictionary. So the first card is the 17, Major 17, Gratitude. It's also known as the Star card in other decks. It is about the big picture perspective, full openness to spirit. could be about self-deceit, self-blessing, and a time of knowing all is well. Then let's look at the colors. We have the lavender and purple. That's all about spiritual awareness. The red is about activity, physical activity, health, vitality, and passion. The yellow is about mental activity. It's also about clarity, logic, and creativity. The blue is about emotions, love, and relationship. The green is about health, there's green, there's green, there's some on the leaves, is about health, abundance, fertility, connection with nature. When you have colors that fade from one color to another, that is an indication that the energy is multifaceted, changeable, or unsettled. Now we go to the number. I love numbers. So it's the card number is 17. However, 1 and 7 is an 8, and an 8 is about change that this is a time when a new direction is opening, represents a point where new possibilities and new options appear. Then we move on to the circles. Here's circles. There's a circle. Circles indicate emotion, continuity, inclusiveness, and wholeness. Then looking here at the flowers, flowers are about beauty, gentleness, growth, and cheerfulness. Now, we have on this card butterflies. On other cards and other decks and stuff, they could be uh, dragonflies. But they indicate gentleness, playfulness, spontaneity, change, transformation, and self-reliance. Now, let's move on to the stars. You'll notice there's many stars on this card. These, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven kind of coincide with the with the uh, different aspects of your chakras. Hmm, that's interesting. And this band of stars here could have to do with mental and, oh boy, there's stars everywhere and they have to do with imagination, spirituality, generosity, awareness of the big picture. They're also um, tied in with activities such as seeking, striving, networking, observing, uh, some of the issues, um, you could have health health challenges if your eye goes to some of these stars. It could be about hearing, digestive organs, throat, mouth, ears. So that is basically some of the aspects of this particular card. What I do when I put down the card to start with, I make a note of where my eye goes to start with. Now, I don't. we don't have any... Uh, question with these particular layout of cards. This is just a general reading. However, um, you know, look and see. When you first started looking at this card, where did your eye go? And then look in the symbols of Tarot Dictionary and look and see what that symbol is about and use that as the basis for the rest of your reading. Now let's move on to the next card. 